So good morning. Uh, now we are going to see about uh, Babcock and Wilcox boiler. In the previous videos, we have uh, dis discussed about the classification of boilers, and we have seen the uh, Lancashire boiler, which is a fire tube boiler. And this boiler, Babcock and Wilcox boiler, is a water tube boiler. So here, let me see what is a water tube boiler and how it is going to be function. Okay, right. So in this, uh, the Babcock and Wilcox boiler is a horizontal drum axis. Okay, and it is a natural draft, natural circulation. Already we said uh, the fluid flow, how it is taken place for the, uh, when the water is fluid, uh, when flow flow in uh, naturally. Uh, manner because of the hot and cold density difference of the hot and cold fluid so that it, we call it as a natural circulation if it is uh, if you use a pump or motor then it will be a forced circulation but in this case it is a natural circulated uh, uh, boiler and it is a multi tubular boiler where more tubes are there where the water uh, we are passing the water and uh, it is a stationary boiler so there are so many classification we have seen one is a stationary or locomotive types here it is a stationary types horizontal drum and it is a natural draft and the fire what we are going to uh, <coughs> fire here is a externally fired boiler because we are firing the coal externally and only we are sending the hot flue gases inside the boiler right so let me see the uh, structure and the working principle of the uh, water tube boiler here you can see the uh, boilers where the water is passing through the tubes so we call it as water tube boilers where cold water will pass through the tubes and it gets the heat from the surroundings that are hot flue gases which is uh, surrounded the water pipes so hot flue gases uh, it passes through the drum so this water gets the heat and it becomes a steam the steam is uh, then it gets to the turbine blades for the further uh, production of uh, power electrical power where the turbine is going to be rotated right now let me see the construction of this boiler horizontal drum boiler which is uh, a water tube boiler you can see the water is spilled in the half uh, amount of boiler over here and there are two uh, important uh, pipelines which is that uh, down take header and uptake headers are there so the down take header and uptake up, up uh, headers will be useful for the uh, steam uh, generation so where the water is getting um, uh, passes through the upstack uh, down take header and then the hot flue gases it takes the hot flue gases and becomes steam then it moves uh, to the uptake header which is in the left side so uh, we can see the water tubes are located in an inclined manner so the hot water normally when the density is getting lighter when the when water is getting heated up the hot water becomes less dense and it moves upward so that the inclined uh, the pipelines you can see here in the left side of this um, uptake header is there through which the hot water enter into the uh, boiler drum so the hot water uh, the hot steam we can see is uh, when wind reaches to the top uh, uptake header it becomes a hot steam that steam is getting stored in the top level of the uh, boiler then uh, the boiler from the boiler the steam is getting uh, segregated on, and uh, separated the steam we bring it to the turbine blades right so there are uh, another uh, as in the case of lancashire boiler here also we are going to see so many accessories and uh, uh, mountings over there just like uh, steam stop valve uh, safety valves and manholes uh, these are all the basic things and the water level indicator pressure safety walls are useful for uh, making the efficiency as well as the safety for the boiler and the baffle plates at the bottom of this furnace near to the furnace we can see the flow of uh, hot flue gases it regulates the flow of hot flue gases and zigzag manner so that the hot flue gases surrounds the tubes uh, very slowly so that it uh, provides more heat and it spends more time on the blades so here in this case we can see the flow of hot flue gases how it is going from the furnace and the zigzag movement through the baffle plates it creates it spends more time on this blades and the tubes so that the hot water water becomes very uh, heat uh, get the heat and becomes steam 
then it is getting uh, separated in the boiler drum at the top as a steam that steam you can see the water level indicator at the left and the fusible plug and that is uh, uh, that's what uh, uh, here it is uh, feed valve where water is getting uh, fitted up and there is another steam main steam valves everything is present in the top of the boiler to uh, takes the steam upward and it sends to the turbine bridge so the main content main parts of these uh, water tube boilers are one is uh, drum and uh, down take header and up take header the drum consists of water and the down take header which is used for the connecting at the rear end of the boiler it receives water from the drum uh, for the uh, heating then uh, it gets heated up uh, the uptake header through the uptake header the steam generated which is generated in the water tubes it will move upward to the, those drums right and uh, there are water tubes over there for filling up the water inside the drum and uh, baffle plates fire doors over there and the grate is there for burning the fuel so their hot flue gases are getting produced by burning the fuel on the grates so this will help for the uh, there is a mud collector will uh, collect this at the end of the uh, the bottom of the down take header uh, through that we can remove the muds and uh, feed check valves are used to fill the water in the drums so here another important thing is the down take header uh, so the water starts from the water tube drums and it enters from the to the down take header where the inclined tubes over there so when it gets heated up because of the density difference as i said it moves upward when it converted into steam okay when, when it converted into steam because of the density difference it moves upward and the it increases the superheater is there which is used to improve the uh, heat of the temperature of the steam so that increases the temperature of the steam and it sends to the turbine blades so that the turbine is going to be used plates for the power generation in the uh, steam power plates so uh, here the main application of this babcock will cause is which is used for high pressure steam can be produced in the power generation industries so uh, the advantages is there and the disadvantages are more because of uh, it is sedimentary water when when pipelines when water passes through the pipelines uh, so impurities presence may affect uh, may produce the scales in the tubes so that the tube the flow of tubes or the flow of water in the tubes is going to be affected and that is a very big uh, uh, disadvantage here so the uh, we need frequent maintenance and cleaning of the water uh, the water treatment is required here and the continuous supply of uh, feed water is required for working because um, more heat is getting produced so the supply of water should be continuous otherwise it gets overheated so this is the disadvantages over here and the fire tube and water tube difference also there so fire tube is a lanka share we have seen the lanka share boiler uh, where the water the fire is passed through the tubes and water is circulated around it but in water tubes the water is passing through the tubes and uh, uh, the hot flue gases surrounds in that water tubes and operation pressure of the fire tube uh, is limited but here water tube boiler the pressure uh, limitation is more no issues around more than the 25 bar it can be worked out and the floor space requirement for fire tube boiler is more but uh, the water tube boilers uh, requirement of floor space is less and cost is very less in case of fire tube boiler and water tube boiler cost is more and maintenance is more and it uh, it is suitable for large power plant the water tubes are useful for large power, uh, power plant but it requires more uh, skilled labors and careful attention for maintaining these um, boilers so uh, it will be useful for producing steam for power generation as well as process heating uh, the water tube boilers are there uh, and uh, the there is a scale deposition if you take the disadvantages uh, there is a scale uh, formation in the tubes is possible which will reduce the uh, the temperature efficiency and as well as the uh, overheating is possible but uh, in this case of fire tube boilers that is uh, not a matter there is no problem of uh, scale deposition because of water is uh, full in the drum and only hot flue gases pass through the tubes 
So this is the advantages and disadvantages of the fire tube and water tube boilers. So in this video, we have seen uh, the water tube boilers, how it gets function. So in the next video, uh, we will see about the uh, boilers and other uh, important parameters about the boilers and the uh, thermodynamics videos. Right?